Hey guys, it's Bro you Wax. So E3 just happened this week and man, oh man, there were so many games announced this weekend. So I thought today I'd just make a wrap-up style video covering all the games. Not not all the games, actually. Uh, let me correct myself. Just some of the games that really caught my eye. If I were to talk about every single game, then it would take literally half an hour trying to even talk about all the games. So I'm going to have a link down in the description below of all the games that was announced. But throughout this whole video, I'm going to be talking about the games that really did catch my eye. And what I'm really excited for, but I also want to hear what you what you guys are excited for that came out of E3. The first thing, one of the first, like obviously I'm a Call of Duty channel. I love Call of Duty Infinite Warfare was talked about one now, but the first thing that really did catch my eye, and it's not the biggest thing of all time, but Skyrim Remastered is coming to the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 with <laughs> Okay, let me, let me let me chill out for a minute. I know I got a little hyped there, but Skyrim is coming to the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. That is awesome. It remastered, but with mods. Now, I know a PC has had this ever since the beginning of Skyrim. I get that. I know I'm, I'm a console peasant. I totally get that. But now that it's finally coming to the Xbox, it is just awesome. Skyrim is one of my favorite games of all time, but I never get to play it that much because a lot of people uh, really like to see it on YouTube. I normally stick with Call of Duty, so... That was one of the biggest things that I saw out of E3. Battlefield 1 gameplay finally got revealed. I mean, we saw Battlefield 1 before, but now we actually got to see in-depth gameplay. It's looking beautiful as always. Battlefield and DICE, they always do an awesome job with Battlefield. So I really did like that. Call of Duty Infant Warfare talk, not really too much going on right there, except new cover art that was leaked beforehand. Destiny Rise of Iron. So some of y'all might have subscribed to me from my Destiny uh, unboxings or Crypto Key. No, what was it? Exotic. Uh, Ingram opening videos and those were awesome I really did like it but I kind of just dropped off of Destiny I didn't really like the Taken King all that much it was pretty good but I just uh, just I didn't like it all that much but uh, Destiny Rise of Iron the trailer was shown and maybe I'll get back into it after seeing that a lot of virtual reality games was shown and a lot of vir vir virtual reality is just kind of taking over like I'm not taking over the whole gaming industry but it's it's putting their stamp in there it hasn't really been perfected or whatnot so it's tough to say where virtual reality is at this point, but it, it's it's getting there. It's getting there. FIFA 17 gameplay has been shown, and so many YouTubers have actually shown it and talked about it. So if you're into FIFA, I know it's really big here on YouTube, so that's why I wanted to cover it. I like FIFA a lot, but I never really get to play it all that much because I'm busy with Call of Duty, and even Skyrim takes up more time than FIFA, but I'd like to get into FIFA sometime, so maybe FIFA 17 can take the can get me into the FIFA scene, but who is to know? Pokemon Sun and Moon gameplay and talk. So leaks go out right before any big Pokemon announcement. Usually uh, the, the the starters when they first got announced, no leaks came out beforehand, but but after that, you know, leaks come here and there before. So E3, it's, it's, it, there weren't any big huge announcements because of how many leaks that were already talked about and how many trailers were already shown beforehand. But Pokemon Sun and Moon, I'm a huge Pokemon fan if you guys didn't know that. So Pokemon Sun and Moon, I'm really hyped for that. Not lot really covered in E3 because of the leaks that were going on so however I'm really excited for Pokemon Sun Moon hopefully you are Star Wars Battlefront 2 trailer I'm really surprised that Battlefront is already uh, making a second game I mean obviously Battlefield a uh, Battlefront rather Battlefront 1 and 2 originally on the Xbox the X, original Xbox and the PlayStation 2, uh, even before that, I think even the PlayStation were out like years and years ago, and you know after that, no Battlefront game came out ex except for the one that came out in 2015, right? It was 2015, I'm pretty sure. So I'm surprised they're making a second one already this fast. But hey, if people love the Star Wars Battlefront, I really did like it when I played the beta. Um, but if people are loving it, then go ahead and make a second one. I'm pretty sure it's going to be good. And Titan Fall 2. So they only showed a trailer for the single player. And the thing about me and Titan fall is that's the reason why I got my Xbox one and it's just it just flopped man battle a Titan Titanfall just really did flop I mean it was awesome for the first you know two minutes but then afterwards it's just like eh, nothing really all that awesome hopefully Titanfall 2 really does fix its mistakes we'll just have to see where Titanfall 2 leads I mean I don't know well I want to know your guys thoughts on everything and what your favorite game is like I said at the beginning of the video 
what are you most excited for that came out of E3? Like I said, I'm excited for Skyrim, obviously Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, and Pokemon Sun and Moon, even Battlefield 1, I mean, even FIFA 17. So many games are coming out this year. It is, I just, I just cannot wait. Love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Just a quick little wrap up of E3 and what I saw. Remember, link down below of all the games that was announced. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching and bye.